Welcome to downtown DeLand, Florida. Population 34,000 people, including one National League Cy Young award-winning pitcher for the New York Mets, who's back home today. This is Stetson University, where Jacob deGrom attended college and pitched for the Stetson Hatters. This is Melchin Field in DeLand, Florida, home of the Stetson Hatters, where Jacob deGrom played two seasons at shortstop before switching to being a pitcher in his junior year. Also, fun fact, right next to Melchin Field is Spec Martin Stadium, where the Waterboy was filmed. Jacob deGrom is back in Volusia County tonight. Rehab start for the St. Lucie Mets against the Daytona Tortugas. Let's go. Anything special happening tonight? Uh, no, just never, a, yeah, nothing. <laughs> Sheldon's antics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Just a sellout. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. This is Jackie Robinson Ballpark, home of the Daytona Tortugas, single A club for the Cincinnati Reds, and tonight hosting the St. Lucie Mets. It's over an hour and a half before first pitch. There's quite a line to get in. Today is kind of like a chocolate in your peanut butter type of day for me. I love the Mets, grew up in Flushing, Queens, but I live out this way and I support this organization. We've been coming out to Daytona games for years, even prior to the Tortugas when they were the Daytona Cubs. I'm not a Reds fan per se, but I am a fan of the players that have made it up into the major league organization. I think they've got about eight or nine players that are on the roster right now that formerly played right here. We've done a ton of videos out here for the Tortugas in the past. We've been out to a few games so far this year, but I haven't really recorded videos. I've just been out here to enjoy everything. Tonight, it's something special. It's also Fireworks Friday. As you can see, everybody's setting up for fireworks post-game. Inside right now, you can hear some BP taking place. Tonight is a sold out event. I don't think I've ever seen the Daytona Tortugas completely sold out. Florida is loaded with transplants from other states, New York included. I'm sure the vast majority of folks here today will be supporting Jacob deGrom. Jackie Robinson Ballpark opened 1914, over 100 years old. There's no frills here, just pure baseball. While this stadium operated as a spring training facility for the Dodgers, this was the first facility that allowed Jackie Robinson to play in Florida. Ball's flying out here. Look at that. Got 20 minutes for gates. We're going back to the air conditioning in the van. It is crazy hot. Five minutes after gates, we're almost in. Free shirts, first thousand fans. Show you around Jackie Robinson Ballpark. Welcome to the Jack. Free t shirt as well. Jackie Robinson Ballpark, beautiful spot to catch a game. Make sure you can hear all the wind noise. Very windy off the water. Can you jump as high as Jackie Robinson? 11 feet, six inches. See Jackie playing basketball. The beer line is long tonight. Large beer, peanuts, music. Free samples from Ormond Brewing. There's the lineups. And there it is, pitching. Bounce house and kids activities up and running tonight. Everyone hoping for a glimpse. It's like Beatlemania waiting for him to come through the door. Cameraman set and ready. Who's gonna come 
out like Bill Goldberg. People come in over the sign. A couple more minutes before I head to my seat. The ground is on the field. He's mysteriously appeared. All right, this is the seat for tonight. A little windy. A little high up, but there's Sheldon. general admission area usually pretty sparse Can you imagine if Fidel Castro hits a dinga off of the ground? Three miles an hour. Throwing meatballs out here. Full oh, count ripped right down the first baseline. Standing double. Sounds just like New York. Whoa! Two outs, runner on third. And you're out. Here comes the Grom. Jack Rogers.
Mets banging on some hits in the second inning. First and third. No outs. One run in. We had a hit batter already and a visit to the mound. Blindfold dancing. Make the crowd warming up. Austin Callahan. Promising kid here. Can you get moving? Literally Fidel Castro at bat. Oh. Oh, damn. Leaves the runner stranded. Two batters now. Mets out here doing work, knocking runs home. Oh my goodness. It's gonna drop. It drops! Two strikes, runners at the corners. Two outs. Third inning. Oh! Shake up the ground, everybody. Standing ovation. Lots of people seemingly leaving now because the Grom is done for the night. With the Grom out, we've got a dinger. We've now hit our third batter of the game. This is incredible. Oh my god. That's the fourth batter. <laughs> oh boy. Place is thinning out a little bit. But we're heading into the top of the eighth, 5 1 Mets. We caught our runner, trying to steal third.
still in the eighth inning. We've got a very long delay out on the mound. This delay has been going on at least 15 minutes. People are actually starting to just leave. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. What is going on? Let's go! Let's go! People are getting mad. The dozens of fans are lighting it up. Bottom of the ninth. Last licks. Down five to one. Two goes down to their last out. Oh. Stay alive. Oh, a bomb hit. There's a dinger. Oh my goodness. Coming to the plate. Oh. Wild pitch. Two and two, two outs. Bottom of the nine. Tying run up. Oh my god! We got a double. Tying run on second. We got a visit to the mound. Well, looks like we have a new pitcher coming in. Tie and run at second. Winning run at home. Oh, dude. Two strikes. It's the magic cowbell. Down on strikes. What an end. So just got back home from the Tortugas. I had a run out just as the fireworks ended. I got a phone call, so off I went. Plus, starving. I wasn't able to get up from my seat. And if you're ever wondering, like, possibly what maybe one of the worst seats to get at the Tortugas at the Jack would be, it would be Section A, uh, row 15. I think it was seat 15, uh, like all the way in the back in the corner. It seemed like a really great idea when I chose that seat. But it turned out like very difficult because you couldn't get out of your seat to be able to get around unless you want to kind of like walk right through like the, the press box type area. But in any event, great outing for Jacob deGrom. Uh, three innings pitched, six strikeouts, uh, three hits, and I think he threw 36 pitches. So um, looked sharp. I mean, he's looking sharp against single A kids also. But there was that one opportunity that Austin almost went yard, uh, and I was so hoping that somebody would be able to go yard, um, at least to get something good going for the kids at the the Tugas. 
Um, those kids, they, they play so hard, and I love going out to that uh, franchise, going out to that team, to that stadium. People there are fantastic. I didn't get a chance to stop and say hello to Sheldon and the professor and everybody on the way out uh, because I had to grab a phone call, but um, I will say hello next time. We'll get more time with them in the video and everything. Uh, the last couple times that we went out there, just kind of didn't even film and uh, or did film one time some things and then I just got caught up watching the game because I love like just hanging out and watching minor league baseball. Two is falling short, but overall fun game anyway. Uh, fireworks show was pretty spectacular also. Interesting situation with DeGrom coming home. The stands were filled with Mets blue and everybody wearing DeGrom jerseys. It's so cool to see. Um, it just really kind of interesting, though, taking away the hometown uh, return for DeGrom and just kind of looking at the Mets situation. DeGrom, do a huge payday, probably will not be a Met next year uh, because of the amount of money that he's looking for. I mean, personally, even as big as a Met fan I am, I'm not so sure that I would pay him the money that he's looking for because he is injury prone at this point coming off of um, what was pretty much a wipe for last year and then this year so far as well. Um, and looking, you know, potentially to compete with the Braves to pick up uh, his uh, contract for next year and, or his services next year. So all of those DeGrom jerseys out there, uh, including the one I have that I brought and I just left in the car. Um, it's going to be a sad day at City Field uh, when and if he decides to chase the money instead of chasing loyalty for the team. But on that note, I'm getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.